here we go guys good morning good morning girl let's go take a little trip good morning guys so I don't know about you guys but for me I am definitely not a morning person and um, I'm happy today, you know, thank God I woke up today, thank God I'm healthy, you know, I'm breathing. Um, but I'm not a morning person, but this morning I'm having a good morning for some odd reason. <laughs> oh my God, that was, <laughs> I don't even listen to this guy, he just comes out of nowhere, just, you know. <laughs> but, you know, I'm having a great morning today. Um, Every single morning I wake up and I instantly check all my stuff, you know, every, everything that's, you know, nobody has messaged me. Um, but I check all my social medias, you know, I check my YouTube every single morning, um, hoping, you know, praying that some divine miracle that uh, one of my videos hit popular, you know, and my shit blew up and I had millions of subscribers and shit. You know, that'd be crazy, but every morning I check and uh, this morning I checked it would hit 5.8 thousand subscribers, man. Shit, I remember just months ago, man, we just hit a thousand and uh, we're about to hit six thousand already. So, you know, I'm gonna keep on grinding for you guys. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes the motivation isn't there. Um, but, you know, I watch a lot of YouTube all the time, man. I don't have cable. I watch a lot of YouTube, I watch a lot of other guys, you know, what they're doing and stuff like that. So, um, you yeah, know, I'm gonna keep on grinding it out for you guys. But today's gonna be a story time video. Well, a video series that I've always wanted to bring to this channel and just kind of get like personal vibes with you guys and just like, uh, you know, uh, it doesn't have to be just car stuff. So, if you guys enjoy this series that I'm about to tell you guys today about uh, the story time of me getting this car, um, if you guys want more story times in the future, definitely comment down below um, what story time you'd want to hear next. Uh, any story that you guys want to hear, just let me know. But uh, first of all, we need to stop at the store real quick. I want a NOS because I'm so addicted to those things. They're so good. And did you know they're like two for four dollars? Let's go get one real quick. Pack secured, boys. So as we make our way towards, you know, my favorite road to cruise on for my Corpus boys is Ocean Drive. Um, so as we make our way over there, you know, I just get on a conversation on how I secured the bag on this baby right here, this Mustang GT. Yeah. Two years ago, man. Two years ago, I bought this here car, man. Uh, let's, let's backtrack about two years ago. Um, I'm 20 now, so I was 18 when I bought the car. Before I had this car, let's just do a little back story. Uh, before I had this car, I had a 2001 Jeep Cherokee four-wheel drive. Um, I got that car when I was 15 years old. Thankfully, you know, I'm blessed. My dad gave me $3,000 for that vehicle, and um, Ever since then, I've I've just fell in love with automotive. You know, um, anything that it was, four wheel drive, uh, sports cars, anything like that, man. I fell in love. Um, all throughout high school, all I did was work, work, work to upgrade my vehicle, my Jeep. All I did was just work, work, work. Put a lift kit on it, put tires on it, went off road and went to the beach. You know, stuff like that. It was an awesome experience. Um, I've had that, I had that car for for a good couple couple years, but I've always wanted uh, a Mustang. I've always wanted, you know, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I wanted a Camaro. I wanted a Trans Am. I wanted something, you know, something that just you turned it on and it just sounded mean, you know. It sounded like a muscle car. It sounded it sounded awesome in the morning. So uh, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I wanted a sports car. My dad was all for it for my first car. But uh, my stepmom that I had at the time, she was not for it, and she just, you know, thought I was gonna kill myself in one, and uh, she thought I was, uh, she thought I wasn't mature enough for one. Me growing up, I, I honestly, I grew up pretty quick. I wasn't, I was pretty mature for my age, um, so I thought I could control one. I thought I could have one. You know, my brother, my brother uh, had bought a, two, a 2008 Mustang GT. I drove it. You know, I loved it. I think that's honestly what made me fall in love. I think that's what made me want to get a car. Uh, Mustang. But yeah, long story short, my old man said, yeah, we can get you a Mustang. My stepmom, no, you're too, uh, you're not old enough yet. You're, you're uh, still immature. You have a lot of growing up to do. So me, you know, being a young kid, you know, you, you take what you can. Um, beggars can't be choosers. 
so that's exactly what I did. You know, I got the cheap. I loved it. I was uh, I was so thankful for it. You know, $3,000. My dad gave me $3,000 for my first car. Oh my God, these guys are pushing this vehicle. I want to I want to get out and help. Ah. Cars I ran out of gas, so I had to go up real quick. Alright, guys. I don't even know where we're at. My legs are all freaking. My legs are all hurting already, but long story short, my pops was for it, my stepmom wasn't. Here we had little 15 year old Chris with a Jeep and no Mustang. So, um, a couple years down the line, uh, I finished the Jeep project, you know, I lifted it up, you know, all kinds of stuff put a winch on it, lights, you know, bumper, everything like that. Um, got tired of it. And I finally wanted to fulfill my dream of getting a Mustang, you know. I think I sold it, I sold it for like $9,500, $9,000. We ended up putting, sorry guys, I'm out of breath. Sold the, sold the Jeep for $9,000. Went ahead and put all of that towards my next car, which in my mind, I literally thought it was gonna be a Fox Body Mustang. We went and checked out this one Fox Body Mustang, it was bored out. Uh, it was a 306, uh, cams, uh, you know, push rods, everything like that. Uh, cam, I mean, push uh, push rods, everything like that, upgraded carburetor. I wanted $6,500 for it. Uh, outside it looked nice, man. It had a custom paint job, custom stripes. The motor looked great when you popped the hood, but when he turned it on, it had a little bit of a tick on the top end. And uh, me, you know, barely getting into muscle cars or anything, you know, car related, I had no idea. Um, on what I was looking for. My dad, thankfully, he's a certified tech. Uh, he was a mechanic for many years. So he knows those type of things. All he used to work on was push rod motors. He doesn't know a lot of stuff about the modular motor, but you know, basic mechanic stuff he knows about. He knows about the push rods, carburetors, stuff like that. My dad's old school. So he basically said, you know, 6,000 wasn't no deal. Um, the inside was, you know, torn apart. It looked like a race car. Um, but you know, $6,500 was a no-go for me. Body was nice, but it's pretty crazy to think that I was actually gonna have a Fox body instead of this car. So, um, after that car, I had a lot of other cars that I was gonna look at, mostly new edges, which is pretty crazy. Um, but every single new edge that I hopped on, well, there was a black new edge, and then there was a second one that was a comp orange, low, low, low miles. But thank god I didn't buy it to do one of like eight thousand dollars for it. And me not knowing what a two valve was back then, I would have bought it. And you know, me coming to where I am now, I could have been like, yo, a couple more thousand dollars, could have got a Mach 1, could have got a uh, Cobra, you know. So thank God I didn't get that, you know, everything happened for a reason. Later down the line, I ended up finding this car, and it's in McAllen, Texas, a couple hours away from me. Um, went, and, went and checked it out with my dad. We went all the way down there, two 5.0s parked down the front, so you can tell these guys were uh, Mustang heads, Mustang fanatics, whatever you want to call them. So we met up with the dude, I was like, yo, where's the car? And he's like, oh, it's, it's in the garage. So I was like, all right, it's garage kept, that's pretty good. Open the garage, and this thing is literally just full, covered in dust, man. You could draw your name in the windshield, that's how much dust it had. I like that it was in the garage, you know, it looked like it, was, it wasn't well maintained or kept because all the dust and stuff on it. But he basically told me that he had those two 5.0s in the front, um, that he was actually trying to get rid of one so that he'd have time for this car that was in the garage that it was it was very clean and all this stuff and when I went to go look at my car my car's a 96 obviously he literally on the post it said it had uh, 78,000 miles and I was like yo is, it, is that original miles and I already knew you know I do all my research on these types of cars or anything I'm going to look into buying I go crazy on the research before I even have the car in my hand I literally know the ins and outs of them so um, I was already familiar with that little uh, worm gear that always breaks inside the gauge cluster that doesn't turn the mileage. So I was like, yo, maybe the mileage is broken, that he's not being true about the mileage. But we start looking at it, this and that. We try to start it, the battery's completely dead. We roll it down the street, jump start it, and then boom! Hear those famous Flowmaster 40s come out the back, man. And it sounded freaking amazing only because it was almost straight piped. It still had the two catalytic converters in the front, stock manifolds. It had an X pipe, and it had the Flowmaster 40s, but they were a dump before the axle, so they sounded pretty loud, man. And as soon as he turned it on, I was like, okay, this car is gonna be mine. Like, that literally sounds so amazing now that that car is gonna be mine. So, we 
were talking about it. The guy would not budge on $4,500. That was the price he was asking for. He would not budge on $4,500. He goes, I'll put it back in the garage, you know, maybe save it for a later time. Maybe I'll get to it or whatever, but you know, I can't really budge on $4,500. Me thinking now on what these cars are worth and this and that, you know, $4,500 is still not a bad deal for SN95, but only 85,000 or what was it? It had like 78,000, 78, 80,000 miles which is not bad at all for an S95, you know. So, me and my dad left, you know, we thought about it, had lunch, you know, we even slept the night over it, and I was kind of bummed out. I was like, man, I wish I could have got the car. My dad's like, do you think it's a good deal, this and that. The AC wasn't working. We couldn't figure out why the AC wasn't blowing out. My dad went inside the hood, you know, being the mechanic he is, he found a line, connected it. Yo, is it, is, is it uh, blowing? So, yeah, so there was just a line that came off for the blower that was not blowing. Um, other than that, man, everything was freaking mint on the car. The seats were mint. There was still plastic underneath. Look, I'm going to show you guys. I'll peel it off real quick. The plastic from the seats are still under the seats, man. That's how I knew for sure that it was an 80,000 mile, true 80,000 mile car. So I was like, yo, we got to have this car. I went back the next day, and the guy drove me around in it. Um, did like a little spinny. He popped the clutch on me. I was like, oh, my God. I thought this car was the fastest thing in the world. I, I, was, I haven't, I have never been in a fast car before this. I was like, yo, this car is so fast. You know, I love this car so much. Everything like that, man. Everything happens for a reason. And I would not take that moment back for sure. Right now with everything in it for you guys that are new, had an MPI motor, obviously. It was stock. Um, it didn't even have a colder intake. It had a drop, it had a drop in K&N filter. All it had was exhaust and it actually had gears in the back. So the guy did the gears, which I found later on down the road when I tried to put gears in it, that it already had 373s in it. So he put a set of gears in it, it had a short throw shifter, and it had an exhaust. So now, fast forward two years later, the car has PI heads, uh, stage one comp cams, uh, full exhaust, long tube headers, SLP cap back, um, 70 millimeter throttle body, uh, CNL plenum, uh, Ford Racing PI manifold, MSD racing uh, ignition coils, NGK spark plugs and a hundred shot of knots, which I wanted to update you guys on. Uh, I figured I would make this little update video, kind of story time video while I'm uh, stacking up for the clutch because this clutch that I'm about to be ordering is a stage three spec clutch. It's going to be able to hold up to, I think was 580, 600 foot pounds of torque, which is going to be good for my setup for now. Um, I'm going to be ordering that in the next few weeks. Um, I have a big shout out in the next video for a guy that helped me out, man. One of my subscribers, so, so loyal, man. So loyal, man. Thank you so much. You know who you are. I'm gonna be shouting you out in the next video. Uh, he helped out with the, with the clutch. He helped out with the purchase of this clutch so much, man. So thank you, thank you guys so much. You know, all the support, you guys are crazy. Um, but, you know, it's gonna be a spec stage three clutch. We're gonna be upping it to a 125 shot here very soon. The car is going to be making over 400 horsepower on the 100 shot jet uh, the car put down 450 foot pounds of torque so i'm pretty sure with the 125 jet it should be bumping over that 500 torque mark or just below it so i knew if i was sprayed it with the 125 pill that this clutch is going to be going out because it slipped on me the other day when i was doing a pull in the car i did a pull in the car and a the other day just because it was cool weather and I just, I just wanted to get on the car but i did a pull the other day and it started slipping so Soon, very soon, we're gonna be installing that spec stage three clutch, lightweight flywheel, uh, new pivot stud, uh, ARP uh, hardware, pit fork, throw out bearing, pilot bearing. You know, I'm going the whole way, man. If you guys know anything about me, when I'm doing something, if I'm doing something that extensive of work, I'm gonna be doing it all. I almost, I almost pulled the trigger on a on an aluminum drive shaft, so we could throw an aluminum drive shaft in there also. But I guess we're gonna wait on it a little bit because all of that stuff that I just named is gonna be a little bit over a thousand dollars. So um, I might be waiting for Cyber Monday to see if I can get a better deal on the clutch and stuff like that from LMR, or um, I don't know, you guys let me know. I, I've never seen, I mean, I've never went uh, like big shopping like that on Cyber Monday. So if, if you guys have ever ordered like clutch parts or anything like that on Cyber Monday, let me know if I should wait or if I should just go ahead and pull the trigger on it now. Cause I know you guys want to see me start racing again. I already have races set up. So people are like, yo, when that clutch gets finished, let's set up a race and you know, y'all know for sure that this car is going to be raised, so that's going to go ahead and do it for the video, you guys. Thank y'all so much for all the continued support. Please drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. 
Um, if you guys enjoy the story time, please let me know also in the comments down below if you guys want to see any other story time videos. Please drop a comment on, on some suggestions. You know, it doesn't have to be car related. It could be any story time video you guys want to know about me. Please drop it down below and I will definitely consider them. Um, I, I want to get more personal with you guys. I want to get on a personal level with my subscribers. Hit that subscribe button. I have more stuff on the way, including some merch, man. I've been making some designs on some merch, so merch is coming soon. I want to order some for myself just to make sure that they're tip-top shape, that they are A1 before, you know, I, I give some crap to you guys. So I'm going to be ordering some merch very soon, so you guys might be seeing me wear some merch. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to leave you guys with that. Please hit that subscribe button. It's your boy, 4.6 Chris. We'll see y'all later, man. Peace out.